Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. So uh, as I have mentioned in my LinkedIn post, so today I'm going to show you that how we have structured a BitCap campaign that is currently spending, as you can see, it is currently spending about 1,65,000 rupees a day, almost with a almost with a 100% realization. Sometimes it also spends more than 100%. Yes, that is the something that we desire. Uh, and of course it is kind of like spending along with maintaining its overall CAC so I'm going to tell you how to do it and uh, how to set up the whole data and everything okay so so for that we will have to do some Excel calculations and everything and I'm going to tell you uh, what this Excel calculation is uh, and, and I will also drop this particular Excel as a template along with the video URL uh, with you okay so first thing first we need to understand how uh, Facebook spend and uh, for your ad account and how you normally generate revenue across the day and if you have noticed uh, you will notice a particular pattern that when your overall stores CAC I mean overall store CAC mean let's say you are running a Shopify store that means uh, in let's say at uh, 2 a.m. at night your CAC is very less at that point of time but you will probably notice that Facebook is not uh, spending high at that moment or maybe at maybe for your case it can be 12 p.m. as well okay so this varies actually so you'll probably no you'll notice that uh, Facebook is not actually spending most when you are actually getting lesser CAC okay uh but uh, th this is the first area that we have identified okay there is probably uh, a way we can actually uh, kind of like instruct the platform and uh, to spend based on our input not their own input okay so we started exploring with bitcap and uh, i've been running ads uh, in meta and google for the last seven years and seven eight years i think and i've been exploring with bitcap cost cap a lot uh, and mostly what we do we give a preferred bid cap and we let it run for forever okay and we rarely change uh, bid um, uh, along the day or maybe along the week we prefer to set the bid cap maybe 2.5x of the cpa or maybe 4x of the cpa but along that line i have also noticed that facebook again is kind of like spending the money based on whenever they want to spend not whenever i want to spend them so that's where this particular concept came in okay so the entire process begin and that uh, how can i kind of like tame the system so what i have done is that i kind of okay again uh, this particular if you are running uh, your ad account with multiple product and multiple product is being advertised then here is a catch with this particular system you need to pull out the exact data uh, for any particular individual product because uh, product to product your CAC will vary a lot so brands those who are running heavy DPA or catalog based ads for your case this particular strategy may or may not work but for other cases whereas if you are running or if you have an ad account that is structured for only one product and you can pull the data really quickly and really easily or maybe you would like to set up this particular process for only one product then it will be possible for you okay so if you are running a heavy catalog brand it may or may not work for you okay so proceed with caution again uh, for other for the other person as well you will have to proceed with caution but I, i'm going to tell you how the, you can take the cautionary measures as well so what i have done is that for this particular account i have kind of like pulled all the data from the ad account uh, that how much this particular product is spending uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and then kind of like i went on the ad account as you can see there is an option you can see as if you can see and uh, you can go down and i have selected only one campaign over here but typically you will have option of this you have to go to delivery and you will have to go to time of day viewers time zone and you will have to download the entire uh, summary of it okay once you download the entire summary then you will probably get this kind of report time of day amount spent and all and you will pull it put it in in this particular sheet okay then 
after that you'll have to figure it out for that particular product how many sales you are actually getting in Shopify again on an hourly basis so how can you do that you will have to go to, to Shopify so you have to go to the report sales over time okay I hope that this particular report is available for everybody then you'll have to remove again uh, you, you will be conducting this experiment for as many longer days as you can my suggested way is to uh, take the only last 90 days of data because as you as you know that we, we live in India and we have a lot of festivals lot of offers going on so uh, user behavior buying behavior changes a lot uh, with time okay so you should not go take a very broad data also you should not take a, a smaller data frame like a 30 day or maybe 15 day something like that so my preferred is 90 day so here is the last 90 days I have removed the comparison and this is the daily view I'm going to put it hourly view okay and now from this particular chart I have removed everything and I have only kept the number of orders if you can see number of orders so I am getting the number of orders so whatever the number of orders I'm getting okay so with this thing uh, you could kind of like then you'll have to kind of like export this data and then kind of like do some excel calculations which I have not uh, I don't have time to show that okay so all after that but mostly you can get the gist of it that you'll have to pull the data uh, from the Shopify that uh, on an average on this particular time frame how many sales you are getting for that particular product okay so now you have a clearer idea of what that how much you are spending for that particular product on an hourly basis and how much you are generating revenue and I mean that means how many sales you are generating for that particular product on an hourly basis and with which you can generate a CAC okay so basically very simple you, you will be able to generate the CAC now I am guessing that you will also be spending money on Google now uh, I didn't really dig deeper on to uh, segregating the Google spend based on product as well you can do that and put the amount exact amount spent over here uh, on this particular column like Facebook plus Google spend for that particular product you can do that or you can be a little bit lazy like me you can do something similar to that that what I have done is that I went to Google I only figured it out how much I am spending on this particular product on Google and Meta let's say in Google I am spending 13 rupees against of meta spend of 100 rupees so basically that's a 13 percent of extra that i am spending on google so what i have done so this is the cac i have created a blended cac so that is equal to this multiply by 13 so you can see this multiply by 13 that is equal to 1.13 13 percent extra now with which i am going to get a kind of like a blended average of the cac so this is the blended average of the cac okay so what is the average CAC that I am getting this is the very important number for me so this is a something that I have to figure it out okay, so what I have done this is a very simple e average of this entire data set okay now I will have to figure it out that what is the difference of CAC of this blended CAC and this average blended CAC I hope you are getting my point over here so I am trying to difference this uh, identify the difference and I am going to uh, put it as sort of a, like a bid multiplier okay this bid multiplier has nothing to do with Facebook bid multiplier that Facebook gives uh, it has no relationship with that I just gave it a name as bid multiplier okay so, uh, so as you can see this 800 is kind of like the form you can see the formula this is e3 minus f3 divided by f3 okay so that means this uh, blended CAC is 10% higher than this average blended CAC so and, uh, and gradually I completed all of this for the same so for as you can see the variance is a bit high and as you can see on the blended CAC part this is a color pattern we have drawn as you can see there are a lot of color patterns sometimes the CAC is very high sometimes the CAC is very low okay so now we'll have to figure out and how to draw the ex uh, sort of bit cap that we want to run now you'll have to go back to the Facebook and you'll have to identify that particular product's CAC that means cost per purchase with one day click attribution okay so most of you will be running ads with the seven day click one day view so let's say seven day click one day view is giving a uh, hundred rupees cost per purchase you will have to forget all of that and you'll have to uh, extract the exact one day click cost per purchase okay 
that will be uh, significantly or maybe something little bit higher than what your seven day click one day view CAC is giving okay so as you can see that for this particular account my one day click CAC is uh, this much so I put it all the values over here now what I'm going to do my objective is to spend less or bid less when I am uh, getting a higher CAC on my Shopify correct so in that case so as you can see this is the color code of my CAC okay so when I am getting the higher uh, CAC I am going to be bidding less so that indicates basically that indicates this so something what I have done is that is this is my bid multiplier so as you can see so H3 so this is my base CAC minus of uh, minus of the the CAC base CAC multiply by the bid multiplier okay so as you can see whenever I am going to be getting uh, uh, so as you can see so I will be deducting this bid multiplier from this particular value and with which I have kind of like drawn another value uh, table over here so if you if you can compare this so if I could like if you could see this side by side so whenever it is highly red it will be highly green okay so something like so green marks for the lesser bid and red marks for the higher bid okay so as you can see whenever my CAC is less my intention is to bid higher on that time frame now the next question comes up is that so Vishek are you asking that we should be changing the bid on an hourly basis my ideal answer will be yes okay but in reality you will not be able to do that because of course at 3 a.m. at night or maybe at 6 a.m. at morning you will not be able to change anything and also changing the bid um, uh, will put your ad on a processing mode for some time maybe for 5-10 minutes so you'll be losing some time so in that case if you are using any uh, Facebook marketing API based system automatic system you could instruct the system okay so okay I this, I this is where I am kind of giving you a hint this is how AI could help you out over here but I actually figured out another way so I kind of like try to create a block of times where one can actually humanly possible to change the bid along those timelines so as you can notice it is possible for some a media buyer to change the bid at midnight 12 a.m. and go to sleep okay so this is kind of like so I to taken an average I've created a block of this and kind of like taken an average and as you can see the average is 1210 and I put a bid of 1250 okay now the next block comes up I can see that this is where the bid value needs to be extremely less the difference is extremely less so as you can see I have created another sort of average so 678 the value comes up as 699 now here is the catch again once again in the catch you can see the timeline it is at 5 a.m. now of course for this particular account if I wish to do everything perfectly then <laughs> the media where will die and everybody around me will die it's not possible okay so in that case what you will do it's kind of like you'll have to kind of like draw it like this way like till this particular point of time so the average it is saying thousand rupees and in that case as you are going to sleep uh, probably you'll have to sacrifice something over here so up ideal bid will be somewhere around uh, 850 or something so that it doesn't overspend in that particular time zone okay now you have woke up already 8 a.m now this is fine now around the time of 7 that is whenever you are changing the bid around the time try to make change the bid about 30 or maybe 20 minutes earlier than that okay so you can see uh, we have kind of like created another block over here but as you can see 1116 is the average i am bidding for 1199 okay and around 8 a.m that is fairly possible by us okay now comes the next part this is where we are getting the lowest CAC starts from 11 a.m. we are about to hit the office so at 10 30 uh, we'll be changing the bid as you can see this whole red zone we have entirely selected the whole red zone over here as you can see 1500 and uh, and so we kind of like put a bid of 1599 this particular 1599 bid sometime we bid 1599 1999 then sometime we will do 1699 sometime we will do 1799 the reason we go high and higher because we have full control 
of what exactly is going on on that particular time period as you can see the time frame starts at 11 am and kind of ends at 8 pm right so we have full control over here okay we can see what is going on our machines are open in front of us uh, multiple people are watching that account so it's fairly possible right so it's fairly possible so try to bid as high as you can so sometime 1500 sometime go we go as high as 1700 as well okay so if you can see the average is telling you 1500 but we go up to 1800 as well now after that just before going uh, going uh, leaving before leaving the office maybe or maybe before taking some break at 7 30 for the 8 pm time as you can see this is entering another green zone that means my bid needs to be reduced and as you can see the average 1150 and we have put 1150 straight up so probably it will not spend anything barely spend anything okay so it will do like at 7 30 we'll be changing the bid once again and go home and then there is another time slot over here we did just nothing okay so what we'll do actually like we'll be introducing this 1250 bid or maybe 850 bid and then you can go to flip and with which with this thing we are actually able to kind of like uh, uh, able to scale up this particular bid cap campaign as you can see we spent about how much 1.78 crores we spent about 1.78 crores with this system so far okay as you can see a significant number of purchases have happened and and if you can see we launched this with a budget of 10,000 rupees okay and, and that to happen on 10th of January right then what happened then as you can see we gradually scaled it up okay gradually scaled it up okay so as you can see uh, 80,000 90,000 and so on and so forth some down times as well I'm going to explain you how to tackle those times and gradually it went up and up and up and these are the days that we like the most where Facebook is actually overspending than what have we have asked them to do and this is this is something that we want actually I want them I want Facebook to spend 110% of my money for such bit cap campaigns because I am controlling the CAC and the results are pretty much accurate and uh, the CAC is absolutely desired so I love to I love Facebook for to spend more money than what I have given to them okay now how to structure this bid cap campaign so this bid cap campaign you cannot do any sort of testing and you cannot do any sort of trial over here you will put only your best offer best creative best landing page over here for that particular product okay no testing ground over here you cannot test anything inside the bid cap okay so you will put your best offer so if you're running any evergreen offer you'll put your best offer you will put your best landing page you will put your best creative all of them together over here okay i'll not be able to show you how many creatives we normally do what type of creatives that we have given it over there and some more details because of course of our some uh, privacy reasons that i cannot show you the creative or the exact account behind this but what i can tell you you will start with normally six seven ads inside the ad set okay and very soon you will going to realize that one particular ad is kind of like eating up everything as you can see this is the day where a particular ad has ate up everything as you can see we try to scale up a little bit and one particular ad ate up everything at that moment of time you will have to identify you know, which particular ad is eating up everything and you'll have to kind of like do some manual intervention over here so the best manual intervention that we have noticed so far is that uh, whenever uh, your uh, clock is getting a reset at midnight we turn on all of the ads inside the bit cap campaign and go to sleep and then we wake up in the morning uh, we do not change anything but certain somewhere around 10 a.m or 10 30 a.m we start getting a sense of which kind of particular ad is going to perform for the day and which particular ad is going to eat up all of my budget so based on that we are going to turn off any particular non-performing ad or maybe the ad that is kind of like taking out all of the spend okay so we're going to turn off that and let the other ads get some money okay so along that particular line we kind of like you can see someday we face this problem so 
of when someday like we were facing this problem like one particular ad was taking out all of the money but the moment when we started figuring it out we started clocking more consistency and as you go ahead on the app you will see more and more consistency because what i have told you just now is that we turn on all the ads at the midnight and then at 10, 10 a.m turn off the non-performing ads we kind of like gradually figured it out how to do it as you can see as you move ahead on the upper part you will see more and more consistency over us initial days the consistency was not there and expect the same with you as well the second part you will probably notice as you can see the average cac over is here is 800 rupees so you might be noticing let's say your average cac is 100 rupees you might notice that one of your uh, ad is getting uh, let's say 150 rupees CAC or maybe something like 140 rupees CAC 130 rupees CAC and it will be itch, itching you to turn off that particular ad but do not do that okay because uh, your overall ad accounts performance is nothing but ad spend so if you are going to turn off any ad which is actually driving ad spend for your account you are going to do a disaster for the account so the moment you will turn off that particular ad because you see that you are getting your cac is little bit higher than what it should be you will see that ent your entire bid cap campaign will crash okay so this is the second point the third point is um sometime you will notice that the whatever the bid amounts that you have adjusted over here uh, uh you might have to change and kind of like adapt to the bid amount okay with time to time so as you have noticed this is 1250 this is 69019 this is 119099 now think about again this is all is dependent on the velocity of your website sales let's say you have launched a kind of like flash sale which is going to last between maybe 9 pm to 12 2 am then you know what needs to be done then what we are doing over here say 9 pm we are reducing the bid then you cannot do that so based on your marketing calendar you will have to adjust uh, what bid you will be using and you'll have to be a little bit smart about it okay i have given you a kind of like generalized approach over here on top of that you will have to add your context uh, on top of it and kind of like adapt to this particular system and once you do this and you will see like you will be able to spend lots of amount of money with literally very minimal effort and uh, and with a very much stability okay because with a big spending account stability is much required and even with the, this also works for a smaller accounts as well those who are spending three four lakh five lakhs it is also working for them and we are able to kind of like minimalized our effort for one third of the spend over there as well again the catch is like of course the account has to have some sort of a volume going on uh, i will not advise you to implement this on a absolutely fresh account or maybe an account which is barely getting five purchases of the day my advice will be to start implementing this or start testing this for an account who is getting at the least of maybe 30 40 sales a day okay um, so that's pretty much it and hopefully uh, you have understood this and if you are not then feel free to message us message me on linkedin and uh, i'll be happy to help you out okay